Hey guys, welcome back to the laboratory. In this video, we are looking at acids, alkalis and indicators. By the end of this video, you should be able to identify international hazard symbols, define the terms acid and alkali, and describe the colour changes of different indicators in the presence of an acid or an alkali. So, let's go. A hazard is something that can cause harm. Hazard symbols are used internationally to alert a person of the harm a particular substance may cause and to indicate the precautions that need to be taken when handling them. Some of the main hazard symbols you are expected to recognise at GCSE level are as follows. Explosive. Substances labelled with this symbol may explode if placed under certain circumstances. Corrosive. Substances that are corrosive may burn and or damage skin and clothing. Serious health hazard. These substances may cause serious harm to health and or breathing. Toxic. A substance that is toxic may cause death if swallowed or inhaled. Flammable. As the name suggests, a substance that is flammable can catch fire easily. Harmful to the environment. These substances may cause damage to animal and plant life, so it's important that they are disposed of properly. And here we have the hazard symbol for a substance that is a moderate health hazard. Substances labelled with this symbol may cause irritation to the skin. These hazard symbols are commonly displayed on different chemical solutions, some of which include your typical household chemicals. All aqueous solutions, including those found in many household chemicals, are either acidic, alkaline or neutral. The pH scale can be used to measure how acidic or alkaline these substances are. An acid is any chemical that releases an excess of hydrogen ions when it dissolves into water. Acids form solutions with a pH between 0 and 6, where the strength of the acid increases as the pH value decreases. The strength of an acid is determined by the number of hydrogen ions it releases. As the number of hydrogen ions increase, the strength of the acid increases too. So, the strongest acids will have a pH of 0 and will release large numbers of hydrogen ions when dissolved into water, whereas the weakest acids will have a pH of 6 and release small numbers of hydrogen ions when dissolved into water. An alkali is any chemical that releases an excess of hydroxide ions when dissolved into water. Alkalis form solutions with a pH between 8 and 14, where the strength of the alkali increases as the pH value increases too. The strength of an alkali is determined by the number of hydroxide ions it releases. As the number of hydroxide ions increase, the strength of the alkali increases too. So, the strongest alkali will have a pH of 14 and will release large numbers of hydroxide ions when dissolved into water, whereas the weakest alkali will have a pH of 8 and release small numbers of hydroxide ions when dissolved into water. Neutral solutions are neither acidic or alkaline and form solutions with a pH of 7. They contain a low and equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. The pH of a solution can be found by using indicators. An indicator is a substance that changes colour in the presence of different solutions and can be used to identify whether a substance is an acid, alkali or neutral. For example, Methyl orange is an indicator that turns red in the presence of an acid and yellow in the presence of an alkali. Litmus is also an indicator that turns red in the presence of an acid but will turn blue in the presence of an alkali. Phenophylline is an indicator that is colourless in the presence of an acid and pink in the presence of an alkali. Universal indicator is a pH indicator that displays several different colours over a range of pH values. For example, in alkaline solutions with a higher pH, it will display a blue or violet, whereas in acidic solutions with a lower pH, it will display a red or orange. Universal indicator is largely preferred as an indicator, as it also gives indication as to the strength of a solution, instead of simply stating whether it's acidic or alkaline. However, the accuracy of this indicator can be challenged, as the colour changes may be misinterpreted. For the most accurate results, it's advised that a pH meter is used. This is a device that provides a numerical reading for the pH of a solution, therefore the measurement is closest to its true value. 
Here's a quick task you can attempt to test your understanding of this concept. Pause the video and take your time to work it through. Press play once you're ready to check your answers. We'll start firstly by arranging the most acidic and alkaline substances. Acidic substances release hydrogen ions, where the strength of the acid increases as the number of hydrogen ions increase too. Based on this logic, hydrochloric acid is going to be the strongest acid of this list, as it has the highest number of hydrogen ions. This substance will be placed at the lowest pH. In contrast, alkalis release hydroxide ions, where the strength of the alkali increases as the number of hydroxide ions increase. Drain cleaner is the strongest alkali of this list, as it has the highest number of hydroxide ions. This substance will be placed at the highest pH. Water is of course our neutral substance, as it contains an equal number of hydrogen and hydroxide ions. And here are the rest of the answers. So, how did you do on this task? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyway, that's it for this video guys. Thank you for joining me in the laboratory. Please leave a like on this video if you found it useful, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss another one. See you soon!